look at this freaking weather. Ah, oh, sun is out. It's in like the 50s. Ah, oh, so nice. Yeah. Don't get used to it. Welcome to the fake spring. This happens every year. You get this really nice, beautiful, warm spike in weather. Sun comes out. Makes you think you're on your way to spring. And lo and behold, right around the corner is that ugly, ugly truth of winter is still here. And it comes back around with more snow and shit. It's okay though, I'm enjoying it. I'm gonna enjoy it for the day or two that it is. Out on the gravel bike, yes, I still have a gravel bike. I only sold the TT bike, so I do still have a road and a gravel bike. Nice to get out on two wheels after four week block of running. Finished off last week with 60 miles of running. So my four week block of running's over. I get to take the volume down this week. And while the volume goes down on the running, I'm gonna get some rides in, whether that's outside or on Zwift. Most likely will be Zwift after today. So just enjoying the sunshine today. Nothing specific, just a little zone two fun noodling around, base building, just getting that capacity in. Just keeping that endurance tank going. Ah uh, yeah, uh, let's get into it. Pleasantly surprised at how well the ditch trail is right now. I thought with the melting of the snow and then the rain and how muddy it got, I thought it was gonna be a lot worse with people running and trying to ride through. But it actually wasn't too bad. For the most part, it's pretty much dry. There's some ruts, but not nearly what I thought I was gonna encounter. Not even 10 miles in. <sighs> Riding outdoors is hard. Tell you do a little bit of hike a bike, right? I ain't got the skills to make that. Probably looks tiny on the screen. It's not tiny. And that 44 tooth definitely is not enough. Nice little hike. <laughs> it's actually not too bad if I had some. Uh, 
shoes with better traction on it. <laughs> Missing a little bit of the tread on these gravel shoes of mine. Killer view. So gonna go down that and then there's this little gravel trail. I don't know if you can see it. it goes through this cutout here. There's a little cutout there. I've never ridden it before, but I've always wanted to try to get on it. So I'm gonna go give it a shot today. Should spit me out. Should spit me out somewhere down in Verdi down there. And then probably just hit the road back home. Seriously. But yet there's a walk around. <laughs> no trespassing. But no, go ahead, walk around. Okay. Do 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 do. <laughs> Look. No trespassing, but go ahead. First time on this little trail. I've been wanting to ride this for a long time and just never made it over here. It's actually quite sandy. I wasn't expecting it to be sandy. Like super, super soft dirt sand. Thought it was gonna be more like the trail I came off of, like hard dirt, but yeah, some deer tracks. Maybe a couple footprints and dog prints, but other than that, it doesn't look like it really gets used. Now, whether or not the end you can get out or it's a dead end, I don't know. <laughs> we shall see. <laughs> oh, I love it. That works good for me. Keep out with a big old hole in it. Twenty miles in, I'm gonna turn around. This just keeps going towards Truckee. Uh, some sketchy little ups and downs, and then it goes into a pretty cool single track. But I don't got time or fitness or energy for that today. So gonna turn around here. Probably just cruise the roads back. Maybe or maybe not jump on the ditch at a further part where it's less rutted out. Feels good to be out though, that's for sure. Feels good to get some bike miles in. Definitely out of bike shape. <laughs> Alright, 
Well, unfortunately, I uh, brought a spare battery for the GoPro that's dead, and the other battery that I had in it is also dead. So, gonna have to cut the video short. Hope you enjoyed the ride. Like, comment, subscribe.